commercial real estate, is there any difference for the client for buying or renting, uh, for example, in an office or in an industrial area? Yes. Um, well, in Aguirre Newman, over the last, and in Spain, over the last 15 years, we've seen is cycles in both industrial and office. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of changes culturally in Spain. Historically, people were more inclined to purchase. And in the la about seven or eight years ago, when the when real estate hit its high, many companies realized that they can take advantage of the market, sell their assets and 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 rent to the purchase rent from the purchaser and so they could put their money into growing the business mm -hmm. and so that was a good time to do that now real estate is a unique asset class for four reasons because real estate assets are long-term assets so the decisions related to real estate should be long-term decisions don't think short-term don't think that the price is going to go up and in two years uh, don't base your strategy into that. Eh? In two years, you're going to uh, make a lot of money uh, by speculating with, with real estate assets. Second, that decisions are not flexible. Again, this is linked to the fact that you should take, you should make long-term decisions. Number three, each property is different. That brings you to the opportunity to, to manage in terms of real estate uh, risk management, taking the, this approach as a portfolio management. And finally, real estate is cyclical. So this brings you again to the fact that you should manage real estate as a, as a portfolio of assets. So real estate is a unique asset class. And then we saw the big picture with these three management levels, project, portfolio, and asset management. Let me ask you, what do you prefer as a manager? You prefer to buy, to rent, or you basically, you don't know, or you don't, you don't, you don't care about. Let's check the polls of the audience. Uh, what do you prefer? 23% uh, buy uh, and prefer to, to buy and 27% uh, prefer to, to rent. And the rest, that is the 10%, mm -hmm. mm, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Francisco Vilaza. In the case of procation, depreciation, uh, expenses can also weigh a lot uh, on the company financials. Uh, so this decision should be based on a long-term strategy. Uh, so how do you protect from these business cycles that mm. you were talking in the, in the beginning, Carlos? It's hard to hedge real estate as a whole with, uh, with, uh, with, with financial uh, markets. So what people is trying to do so far, and, uh, from the managerial point of view, is trying to ride the cycle, no? Trying to, if they can uh, buy properties when the, when the prices are, are, are low and doing, getting into contracts of, of sale and lease back when the, when the prices are high. But again, this is uh, speculating uh, with, a, with a real estate cycle and sometimes can go can go right, and if you don't read the cycle well, it goes it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. In terms of hedging, I guess in terms of hedging real estate risks is, as I said, the the biggest way companies that are non real estate have to do it is is with the sale lease back, basically mm -hmm. selling when they when the prices are high and, and buying when the prices mm -hmm. are low. But it is a very difficult cycle to read. And and for example, right now, uh, I would say the biggest uh, real estate asset on the market in Barcelona would be hotels. Mm -hmm. At what point is that bubble gonna gonna <laughs> hit its maximum? It's really hard to, to read that. So right now there's there's still the tourism is high, the conferences are high, and and there's a lot of reasons to believe that we can continue to keep building mm -hmm. hotels and they'll still uh, work well in Barcelona. But eventually it, it's gonna that cycle's gonna change, and then offices are gonna be more attractive, and and the cycle continues. So. Mm -hmm.